Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Barbie and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Okay guys, so for today we are gonna be trying the Emma Chamberlain cold brew coffee. Hi. I have been dying to try this and the biggest reason I want to try it is my local grocery store is out of coffee Like the coffee review I did all of my favorites I told you guys about which I'll link in the eye above and down in the description box below if you want to check that out They are sold out and I'm like I need to have I don't need to have coffee every day But I need to have coffee every day So I thought why not try her cold brew and see if it's any good because if it is that'll be my main supply of Coffee the grocery stores are running out and I don't like hot coffee I like cold coffee cold press cold brew although I rarely ever drink hot coffee because Why would I do that? All right guys, so this is what we are gonna be trying today. So if you guys wanna know what this tastes like and what I think of it, if it's worth it, if it's good, stay tuned and let's get on into the video. Okay guys, so let's get into trying this cold brew. This is what the packaging looks like up close. It is um, sustainable packaging. This packaging is renewable and compostable, so it's not wasteful, by the way. And I don't know about you guys, but I just love the feeling of packaging like this. Like, I just love it. So the packaging is really, really cute. It came shipped to me in this giant Ziploc bag. And then there are all of the coffee bags inside. So I ended up ordering a 10 pack of these and it was $20, so $2 a bag. And then the shipping was really reasonable. It was only $5 to ship all the way across the country. So let's see if it's worth $2 a bag. Now, normally at Starbucks here in North Carolina, a cup of black coffee is about $2. So it's very comparable to a cup of black coffee. I think the Starbucks cold brew is actually a little bit more expensive. So this would actually be cheaper. So let me go ahead and make one of these so we can see what it tastes like. So it comes with a pretty clear instructions on the back. Okay, it smells really, really, really good. It smells incredible. I literally could smell this all day. I want to put one of these in my car, literally, because it smells so good. I love the smell of coffee. It does smell very strong. So you open it from the side, and there is the little bag inside. And that is what it looks like up close. And it's like a tea bag, but there is quite a bit of coffee in here. This little bag is almost full. So you just peel this off. So I watched the video of her making this and I tried to make it as close as possible, but she uses three bags to steep her coffee in and she has a really big jar. And I'm gonna put three of these into my mason jar. So I'm gonna use more of a drinkable size jar and just one bag because <sighs> I like my coffee strong, but I don't want to give myself any more anxiety than I already have right now. So I'm gonna stick with one bag. I think three bags is like kind of intense, but I'll let you know when I try it if one bag is enough or if you really need to do the three bags that she recommends. So what she ends up doing is putting the coffee inside here and then ends up pouring hot water, which I've already heated up inside. So that is what it looks like just straight away. You can see there's some steam coming off of the top, but it's already starting to get dark. On the back of the bag, it says dunk the bag for 15 seconds and then keep it in longer if you want it to be stronger. And then it says at least keep it in for like five plus minutes so you actually get the coffee taste. You can put it in for like five minutes or if you're like me and you like your coffee super strong, I put mine in for like 10 minutes when I do hot coffee. So in Emma's video, what she does is she covers the top of her jar with aluminum foil. So I use this and I put it over top of the cold brew to kind of seal it and then it looks like like this 
and she seals it over top like this. And so she ends up placing hers in the fridge overnight with the tea bag steeping. Then I pop it in the fridge overnight and then I have the best, most flavorful cold brew in all of America. Now, I thought that leaving it in all night, which would be more than 12 hours, it would be too strong for me. So I did end up leaving the tea bag in for about three hours last night, and then I refrigerated it overnight, and I took it out, and this is what it looks like. So here's the one I did last night. You can see it is extremely dark. So this was about three or four hours of steeping. And let's go ahead and take the tin foil off. So I don't think I'm gonna add any more ice cause that's just gonna water it down. But let's go ahead and try it. I am so excited to see how this tastes. Got this super cute pink Jeffree Star metal straw to try it from. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it black first without any cream and then I'm gonna add in my own cream. I don't have the creams that Emma had so I'm just gonna add in my tried and true coconut creamer and let's see how it tastes black. I'm so excited. Mmm, that's really good. I'm super surprised. I really, really like that. So it's said to have notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts, and that it's supposed to be really smooth. 100%, it is very, very smooth. So a lot of the cold brew coffees that I tried in my other coffee taste test were extremely sour. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. This one, not sour at all. No hint of sourness. It is very, very smooth. It almost tastes like you're drinking cream. It is so smooth and it is pretty rich. I would say it's not bitter at all. So let's go ahead and add my favorite cream. This is the coconut creamer and it is so good. If you guys love coconut or love like a nutty taste to your coffee, get this it is really good i used to just drink my coffee black and i i would 100 percent drink this black i think it is drinkable as it is so let's go ahead and put the cream in and see how the flavor changes i'll probably do like that much look at how pretty that is so pretty all right now let's go ahead and try it with the cream mmm that's really, really good. I would say the one thing is the cream does make it taste less strong. So if you like a strong coffee, I would maybe recommend brewing it overnight if you're gonna be adding cream into it because it does taste more watered down. If you like that, then definitely add the cream and steep it for four hours. But if you want it to be stronger and not watered down, I would say leave the steep overnight. See if that's stronger for you. Okay guys, so that is my Emma Chamberlain Chamberlain coffee review. This coffee, really really surprised me i thought it was gonna be sour or bitter and not that great i know she was really hyping it up this is something that i'm extremely proud of and i know she's so young but she's a coffee fanatic just like i am so i was really really having high hopes for this and i totally think my expectations were met i would 100 percent drink this on the daily and this is definitely gonna be my replacement while we are all on lockdown because it ships to your door within five or six days it's not that expensive it's cheaper than starbucks and it tastes a little bit better in my opinion or at least equal so highly recommend if you guys are running out of iced coffee or running out of cold brew at your local grocery store maybe try some emma chamberlain coffee because it is really good i hope you guys enjoyed this week's video as it's a little bit different than the videos i traditionally do on my channel which are crystal videos so if you guys have missed those i will link a playlist down below and up above in the eye if you guys want to go binge watch those but i do love to review coffee and food every once in a while so that's why i decided to do this video so i thank you guys so much for watching please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and i will see you guys on the next one so i hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and i hope i hope you i hope you guys enjoyed this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed this week's video it's a little bit normally on my channel so